A young Bjork began coming to the room to care for Lilia. She had bluish hair and blue eyes, and her heart was unusually pure for a Bjork. In time, Lilia and she came to be friends and shared a mutual trust. Ah. Ah. Lilia described, decided to entrust her hopes to the woman. They shared no common language, so it took some time. But eventually, the Bjork woman understood what, what it was that Lilia wanted, which was to take the treasure into the song and flee this temple. Brother! Was there anything on, else written on about this Bjork woman? A name, perhaps? Galder speak. Translated into our language, it was probably Elena. I knew it! Mother! It was our mother! Wow, what a coincidence! What? Uh, are you sure? Our mother's name was Elena. Like me, her hair was blue. As was her eyes. Well, Elena's hair is actually more purple than blue, but yeah, we'll run with it. Grayson, the object you referred to as your clan treasure was an aged bronze medallion, wasn't it? How, how did you know that? The medallion became my mother's keepsake. The song, too. My parents both gave their lives to protect it. Ike, you and Mr. Elena's children? Then the Laurent's medallion is here? Um... The medallion was stolen, probably by Dane. It can't... This is unbelievable. Can a thing like this be a chance? To be honest, I don't fully understand all that's happened. But it all makes sense. It all comes together. Ah... Mist. That's the song that... But the melody is a little different, isn't it? It's similar to the song Race and Liang sang in the forest. My mother used to sing it as a lullaby. It is a song of release, the one Lily entrusted to Elena. But, but I, I wore the medallion and sang that song almost every single night, and nothing ever happened. The magical effect of the song is awakened by the power of the singer. It can't be unleashed by just anyone. The true song of release can only be sung by a girl named Altina. Lilia wanted your mother to take the melody to Altina and return the medallion to its rightful place in Serenus Forest. One problem with that. Altina's kinda... dead. The story is becoming clearer and clearer. My father fled Dane to protect my mother, who was carrying the amulet. Ike, how did you know- Volk told me. He told me about my father's past, and the amulet, and the Dark God, too. So you know everything. King Ashnar took Lilia, didn't he? That would be the final piece of the puzzle. After all, the man who found my father was the king's henchman. Ike! Are you saying, are you, saying you know Kim, who killed Commander Grail? You never said anything about that. We all thought his murderer was unknown. Why didn't you say anything? Probably because he was too distraught to bring it up. I don't know. I never felt like talking about it. Don't blame the guy. He was a Dane soldier, wasn't he? Who was it? Who was the man that killed Commander Grail? Jeez, Tanya, slow down. Ike! Tell me! Whoa! Can we discuss this later? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Up to this point, we've all been fighting for the liberation of Crimea. Even if we now add that to that stopping the Dark God from being released and punishing Commander Grail's killer... Our enemy remains unchanged. King Dane and his henchmen are the ones we must defeat. It's mysterious, isn't it? I mean, Raisin said the same thing earlier, but... Could all this really be mere coincidence? The fall of Crimea, Ike's parents, the death of Raisin's sister, the fact that everything leads back to Dane... If true, it changes the meaning of behind this war. The treatment of Lilia is one thing, but... The assassination of the former apostle? The framing and destruction of my nation? If it was all part of Dane's plan to seal the medallion in the song, then I... I... The reason I fight. Wow. Would you believe this, guys? Bonus experience! Yay! I'll save it here. Ta-da! If that's the decision you've reached, we'll respectfully comply. If we can march quickly and know that someone's protecting our backs, it would be a huge relief. As you wish. May the fortunes of war be with the Crimean army. If you need a soldier, send word. We move at top speed. I'll be counting on it. Aww, one Zelig come with us. 
fearful music again. The information gathered from Lenny Chetwell leads like ever closer to the hidden truths behind the war. The assassination of Begnion's former apostle led to the massacre of Serenus. A Serenus princess was kidnapped. The medallion is stolen. A complex scheme seemed to connect these events, and now those threats have become clearer and cleaner. Ashnard's motives are still a mystery, but a silhouette lurks in the shadows of all that happens. Ike returns from the temple and renounces all rights to the rule of Dane. Those rights are then passed through General Zelgius of Begnion to the Apostle herself. The Crimean army absorbs another troop from Begnion, and with its might increased, marches on the dane crimean border. Its next goal is the Riven Bridge, a massive structure that connects the two countries. Wee Arrow! Chapter 23, The Great Bridge. A very notorious chapter. Indeed. My Lord Ike, may I have a moment? Of course. What is it? The soldiers say that tomorrow we'll be able to see the Great Bridge. Once we cross it, we'll be in Crimea. That's what I've been told. It feels like I've been away for many years. Crimea is the land where I was born and raised. It feels so removed from it. I feel it now at this late juncture that I know almost nothing of my own country. It is an unreal experience. I know what you mean. I don't have the sense that we're on the brink of being back in Crimea either. I don't even remember this area at all. Maybe it's because I was born in Galia and raised in the countryside. But countries are joined together like this all over the continent. I'm really in awe of it all. So am I. For one who knew nothing of life outside the Royal Villa, everything is so very big. Big? Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. When we left Crimea, it was spring. The snows were melting, the days were getting longer, and the weather was mild. It's been almost a year since we departed. Only a year. But this since we've traveled to get here has been long and hard. It feels like many years have passed us by. Yet this is the land where I was born and raised. Ah, oh, my dear sweet Crimea. How's it that you feel so far away? For me, too. Crimea is my homeland. We're almost there. Let's go home. It is as you say, my lord Ike. Let's go home. Ooh, what a romantic setting. Makes it hard to make an appearance. I guess it just leaves you two. Huh? I know that voice. Hey there, Ike. Looks like we stayed alive long enough to be reunited. Aren't we the lucky ones? It's a Renolf! Renolf! My lord Renolf! How nice to see you again! My princess Alicia, welcome home. I'd curtsy. Well, the tail makes it look silly. Ha! <laughs> what are you so darn chipper about? Once I heard the news that Crimean army had taken the Dane capital, I ran all this way to greet you. How go things in Gallia? You're not engaged in open hostilities with Dane, are you? Not yet. What's that supposed to mean? In light of your army's success, the elders have finally agreed on something. Gallia will lend its full support to Princess Crimea's efforts to liberate her homeland. It's a done deal. Really? So, is this is the Gallian army going to we're going to establish communications with them and create a united front? That being said, Gallia is here to support you. The Crimean army will always be at the center of the effort. Don't forget that. King Gallia is being most gracious. That posture will allow Crimea to lay claim to any victories we achieve. Don't say things like that. I'm shocked that you would understand such subtleties. Who are you? What have you done with Ike? Ha! I don't believe the right to speak to me like that. Kidding. Actually, Sora and Dislak should be on the same situation when we receive reinforcements from Begnion. Of course, you were treated by your nervous little staff officer. Now I get it. Has he snapped yet? He seems I'm strong. King Canis is always thinking of Crimea, isn't he? How can I ever repay him? Princess, let's bring your country back. When that's done, please rebuild the bonds of friendship between our nations. That would be the ultimate way to say thank you, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, of course. Ike, I'd like to report the results of our last battle. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Soren. Whatever. Excuse me, guys. I will be right back. I need a drink. <laughs>